my mother always told me that I'd grow to appreciate school yearbooks. It's easy to forget the things that happened a few weeks ago, let alone many years ago while you were in elementary school. These are the experiences that made us who we are, and yearbooks capture who we were and how we got here. I've since adopted an ideology of, no matter how many pictures you take, it'll never be enough, but back then, I didn't carry a camera in my pocket everywhere I went. And even when I started to, those pictures were potato to you. So my memories are all that I have, and yearbooks stimulate and fill in some of the blanks to these memories, allowing them to be fuller and, possibly, more accurate. Pages upon pages of faces you remember, forgot, or never even knew existed. You can follow people as they grow up, often all the way through high school. You can see how this cute kid grew into the ugly Tucker you see before you. Yikes. It's also quite interesting to think of what these people became. Your friends, your enemies, your crushes. Who was your best friend in second grade? When did your best friend change? Who wound up in jail? Who followed their dreams? Who turned out to be gay? Who shocked you all by turning out to be straight? Flip through a yearbook. Pick a person you vaguely remember and look them up on Facebook. Sure, Facebook is a creepy stalker tool and you're using it for exactly that purpose, but it isn't illegal yet and you're only going to see what they've shared with you. I mean, maybe you'll get lucky and you'll have forgotten you friended them back in middle school when they were still tangentially relevant to your life. Which raises an interesting question. Has social media killed the yearbook? Yeah, it has. Which confuses me because they don't fill the same need. Social media is all about what's happening now. The instantaneous dopamine hit. The yearbook is about... past dopamine hits? But I think the best part of yearbooks is the signature page. In my yearbook, signatures started in second grade, peaked in middle school, and then ended abruptly afterwards. But from the signature pages, you can glean a more accurate and complete snapshot of your relationships. Notes from teachers appreciating your nerdiness. Notes from friends appreciating your nerdiness. Countless hags. People making funny jokes. References to jokes you can't remember anymore. People who aren't with us anymore. The point I'm trying to make with these yearbooks is simple, generic, and admittedly preachy. You should never live in the past, but you can revisit it once in a while, take a trip down memory lane, and keep the memories fresh. Because, after all, you are nothing but an amalgamation of the many memories and experiences you've collected through life. And the pictures and the words of the people who touched us are easier to remember if you're able to hold them in your hand. There are nights when I miss my friends When I look through old pictures, think about you again And I hope that you're happy that I'm not dead both ended up kind of okay.